six gallon tank, so. I'm gonna get five gallons of fuel for it. I wanted to get it last night, but that didn't work. Parachute's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, don't cool. take it up. <laughs> the what? The clip? The clip that's all that yeah, it's it. Up. Yeah. Is there a button in here that runs the chute? Oh, really? That's the so the cable. Oh, there the cable sticking up now. So the cable sticks out and goes through and holds that. So you pull the lever, and that inner cable. Pulls in and the chute mm. blows. They just put that on there so people don't accidentally set it off. That looks cool. Everything's Copo 50. Oh, yeah. 50th anniversary. Alright, we need to get some ice. Cool. Intercooler. Intercooler ice. Intercooler ice in my car wash bucket. We're gonna make a bunch of noise in a minute. I'm gonna run that Camaro. Have you seen it? So, I told him, I responded to a comment, and I was like, we got the gimbal. Actually, I'm gonna build a. I'm gonna make these like cold carts that you plug into these fittings. So in between races, you plug it in and it circulates ice water through. Okay. To cool the intercooler back down. Here, I'll turn this pump on. And you can see that. This is. Uh, don't get the camera too close because it's gonna. It's pretty strong. It might shoot some water out. In your cooler, fuel, ignition. So it is your favorite car? This is my favorite car. Okay. I like it better than anything else. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know. Can't drive it on the street, but I sure like it. It's pretty fun. Oh, I tried to give away your credit card information. Mine? Yeah. How's that? On the video, on the last video. And when you were getting gas, I was I was watching the pin number. Oh, yeah. And uh, I didn't catch any of it, but 
well, still, it was still worth a try. And actually, so that would have been um, since then, my credit card, my debit card info was hacked oh, by man. someone I could uh, get their name actually, but they ordered a bunch of perfume from Macy's.com oh. for the total of $500. Wow. I was. <laughs> We could force the. Let me go get some. Those are. Yeah, mirror deletes and then antenna delete on the roof. Oh yeah. I'm not smart enough to do it. I just did it. Water. That's what makes the fish taste so good. <laughs> Is that it? I think so. Special Operations Program, which was known as COPO, 
and COPO stands for Central Office Production Order. So he went to COPO and he basically found a loophole in something that was made for fleet vehicles. You could customize the colors and the wheels of these fleet vehicles at the time and the COPO was really not intended to be used for drag cars or anything, but Copo became synonymous with drag racing uh, because it was such a fast car and these were coming straight off the line with a 427 cubic inch engine in them. It was, it was pretty spectacular at the time to see these cars coming out, but it, they had to make exactly 50 cars uh, does anyone know why? 50 cars? That way they could race legally. Yes, that's exactly right. So they made 50 of these cars and 13 of them sold immediately. And the other 37 cars went to dealerships across the country. There was a high demand for the ZL1, which it was known as the ZL1. 427 cubic inch engine that was made of aluminum became known as the ZL1. So they had such high demand for the ZL1 that they decided to make an additional 19 cars, which brought the grand total to 69 cars. They stopped making the car in 1970 because of rising gas prices, rising insurance rates, and a lack of interest in the muscle car. They began making the Copo yet again in 2011 with 69 more cars. So 2011, they decided to open the Copo name yet again and make 69 more cars. The car had such popularity that they built 69 more every year after. So the Copo has continued since 2011 um, until 2019, which is what we have here. 2019 is significant because it is the 50th anniversary of the car. And they decided that a lottery was needed to help decide who got these 69 cars. So we entered the lottery to get this, this car. All right, so we've learned a little bit about the 2019 Copo. Who's ready to see this baby unveiled tonight? So Copo fans, are you ready? Thank you. 